our scripture is, uh, was it do unto others? What, what? <laughs> well, are you going to put it up for me? All right. It says, therefore all things whatsoever you would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. There's another scripture I think it says, do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Or is it the same scripture? Uh, either way, so tonight we're going to be talking about do unto others. You want to treat people the way you want someone to treat you. Do you want someone... What? Treat others as you want them to treat you, right? Yeah. Do your boys, does your teacher say that kind of stuff to you? Oh, because you're in their school. So do do it to do, treat people the way you want them to treat. Oh, go go Power Rangers! All right, thank you for that. Uh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Before we get into the lesson, we need to do our special. Uh, the special. Uh, I keep hearing stuff. Am I losing it? No, I'm hearing stuff. All right, uh, Miranda was going to come out and sing a song. She's been practicing the guitar for a while. She's going to come out and play a song. Where you at, Miranda? You met here practicing? You ready to play? Now listen. Hey. She's trying. She's... She, you know, how long have you been playing? Um, about two. 20 years. All right. Uh, she's going to play a song. Everybody be real quiet. Is it tuned up? You ready? Okay. Everybody be real quiet. Be respectful. Uh, the cord or the battery is dead in the guitar, so we can't hook it up to the sound system. That's my fault. I told you it would be ready, but I apologize. So everybody give Miranda your undivided attention. I need everybody to be quiet. She's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna rock it. Okay, Savannah, how long have you been playing? Um, pretty much ever since I could like use my hands. All right, let's just make sure that you're all centered between the two trees. We want everything to be perfect. And what did she just say? She said she could use her hands. All right, good answer. All right, everybody, shh. Savannah. Thank you. 
So, so guess who came to my house today? <laughs> Fireman. Fireman, what you do? Cook again? No. <laughs> no, my cat ran up a tree. Well, praise you. That's what I said when the firemen came. Firemen, guys. Firemen. What, well, what are you going to do then? She ain't through. I am going to write an article in the paper to tell how awesome the firemen were. Well, you didn't do none of this with Cousin Luke got your cat out of the tree. Oh, oh, oh. Cousin Luke, he stinks. Come on now. Well, he's not out of the tree so fast. He's not even all there, I don't think. But, but he still got your cat out. Oh, wow, he got my cat out. Ooh, good for Cousin Lou. Come on, tell the cousin did too. No, they got my cat out of the tree. Okay, I'm pretty sure you just said they did the same thing. <laughs> there is a big difference there. Okay. We're talking about Fireman and Cousin Luke. Luke? Mm. Big difference. Fireman, Cousin Luke. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. They're hot. Okay. Good help, Cousin Luke. Uh, come on, come on Penny. Would you want to have Cousin Luke or Fireman to come get your cat out of the tree? Well, it depends. I kind of appreciate Cousin Luke being in the tree because he usually stinks. So I'll go with that. But hey, was anybody here when we had William Keys, the firefighter? Yeah. You guys were you here? You had a fireman here? Of course you did. No, we had a fireman come for our Heroes Month. And he was cool. And he got dressed, he had all of his stuff out here. And he was he cute? Well, you're, uh, yeah, he was. Well, Alexis said yeah. Okay. But he's married, so it doesn't matter. But he came out here, remember, and we, we had the fire bell, and we told him, okay, on the count, whenever you hear the bell, and he had all of his stuff out here, and he hurried up and jumped into his boot, pulled him up, and put his suspenders on, buckled everything, and then he put his jacket on, put his helmet on. He did it in, like, what was it, Christopher, like, 14 seconds or something? Something ridiculous. Firemen That's what I'm saying. They cool. are so cool. So here we go. We got Cousin Luke, Fireman. Here we go. Fireman. Luke. Ah! Obviously, obviously, they don't know what they're talking about, Marcy. Right? That's what I'm saying. Cousin Luke is as dumb as a box of air. Smarter than you! Wait, let me rephrase that. Cousin Luke is as dumb as a box of rocks. His brain has as much air, or his head has... <laughs> I can't even make fun of you. Look, I don't mind... Sister, but Cousin Luke just gets on my nerves. He does. And he smells. You can't even talk to him. You don't even make sense. Okay, look. Sense. This one time, okay, I'm not trying to talk about people because I don't do that, but this one time, he came and we rode the bus. We were going to some church function. I don't even know who invited him. I wish they wouldn't have, but we had to ride the church bus and there was only one seat left on the bus and guess who it was beside? Cousin It was beside me and I had to ride touching him the entire time while he leaned over on me and he coughed or I don't know, maybe he's just breathing, but either way, it's done. Don't let him sleep on your shoulder because he draws. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, back to the, back to the, what were we doing? I forgot. Oh, the last, the scripture, the scripture, the scripture. Put the scripture back on there. Scripture says, do it to others as you'd have them do it to you. But you know what? I don't think Jesus was necessarily talking. There's people out there that are, just get on your nerves, okay? Let's just be honest. They just get on your nerves and... I don't think we should have to put up with people like that. It's just all I'm saying. But in doing to others as you'd have them, do it to the cruel people as you would have the cruel people doing to you. How many of us to sit at the cool table, the cool table at school? Yeah. I do. I love. We don't want to sit with the losers. Who likes the losers? I would. I don't know. I like the loser table. I kind of sit at the loser table myself, so maybe the loser table is the cool table. George, that's because you're not cool. Oh. Somebody's here. 
But anyway, Cousin Luke is like one of the best people I know. And he'll do anything for you. And if it's climate tree to get your cat out, Cousin Luke will do it. Because Cousin Luke is the best. Anybody agree? I do agree. Amen. Cousin Luke is where it's at. Firemen are cool too, though. Yeah. But Cousin Luke is... Uh, hi. Me too. Do you see all that was going on tonight? I'm very disappointed. First off, Christopher... Uh, no, I'm just trying to teach. I was just agreeing to some of the parts that are true. I wasn't trying to be mean to anybody. I was being truthful. It's better to be truthful. Do you see who's out here? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, I was being truthful. It says in the Bible. Because if I lie right now, the truth, he doesn't know. Don't lie. Me. Look, I'm sorry for making fun of Cousin Luke. Cousin Luke is, he tries. What? What? I wasn't making fun of him. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Look, I'm... Give me a bag. Um, Christopher and Michelle, now they were making fun of Miranda. And Simon, and just Miranda, I guess. What? The Bible says that nobody is more important than anybody else. No matter what. If you do it for Jesus, just as good no matter what. I hope now George is being good. Oh, look how George just jumped ship and threw me under the bus. Yeah, Craig, listen to me. Yeah, I agree with you, Matt. So, Jesus, <laughs> I try very hard not to not to mess up, to to be a good person. And I know I, I, I've invited you to live in my heart. And I truly take that seriously. To, to ask Jesus to live in your heart, to be your Lord and Savior, that's a big deal. And you don't take that lightly. And I don't take that lightly either. And I guess I, I got carried away because, see, I was joining in with what was going on. Miranda can't play the guitar that well, though. You've got to agree to that. Okay, well, she, she did do good. But it's not like it's not like I was making fun of you though. I mean, I was just. But Craig, she was doing it for Jesus. That's what matters. Oh man, this reminds me of something. Oh boy, I guess I I, I guess I messed up this time. Marcy, you were doing it too. I was just telling the truth. Oh. I wasn't doing anything. What's the what's the what's the parable that you told? You were telling your disciples something. It was about uh, what is it, Christopher? It's in Matthew. Yeah, you did say that. And you were doing it more. No, I remember. Oh, no, that wasn't the one. What was the other one? Jesus, you said I, I've got to ask you to forgive me because I've done completely wrong. I made fun of Miranda. But see, not only did I make fun of her, I did it behind her back. And she didn't even know I made fun of her. And you know how wrong that is? I mean, it's bad to make fun of her in front of her face, but to do it behind her back. She thinks that I really like her. And she thought that I really thought she was a good guitar player. And she does do a good job. Craig? What, George? It reminds me of the Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan? What's that? It, it's where a man, he was hurt, and he was left laying in the ditch. And, and people didn't think he was good enough to help and just kept walking by him and leaving him sitting there and laying there hurt. Why would, he, why would people, like, not? Because he was all dirty and yucky. That's me. He finally, a good so they, so they thought because they were too good to deal with him. Yep. They didn't because he was dirty and bloody and yep. they just thought he was a disgrace to man. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Oh, then the good story. Yeah, yeah, like, like Marcy. She, she had cousin Luke came and helped her. She wasn't appreciative because she didn't think he was as good as the fireman. Listen, I make fun of cousin Luke. He does stink, but cousin Luke has a good heart. So does that mean I need to go apologize? That means I need to go apologize. 
Yeah. And I'm sitting here and making fun of him. Cousin Luke thinks we're friends. Aww, and I do like Cousin Luke, though. I do like Cousin Luke. He comes out here and he always makes me laugh. Cousin Luke is really funny and he's friendly. He loves everybody. Yeah, it was kind of funny how he got my cat out of the tree. How did he get the cat out of the tree? Because he stuck so long. Long story. He, he had to try different stuff to climb up on and the stuff that he was picking, like tires and broken furniture and a bucket and it was just a <laughs> long day. Needless to say, he didn't even get up to the first branch for the cat out of whip and, and turned down the tree itself. <laughs> But you didn't, you didn't see Trevor, right? You didn't see none of that. You did see it. I guess that's strength three. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Trevor is good, right? That's what I said. Come on, guys, you have to join my friends. Me and Cindy. Here's Cindy. Come on, Cindy, take it like a man. Woman. 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 George, you're good at scriptures. What was that scripture in Matthew about where Jesus told the disciples that I was hungry and... Uh, you fed me, I was thirsty, and I forget how the rest of it goes, but I get him to drink. But then there was a, the other part that says, I was hungry and you, you didn't feed me. Yep. I was thirsty and you didn't give me something to drink. I needed clothes and you wouldn't give me any. I, uh, scripture is, uh, when you've done it unto the least of these, the Bible says in Matthew, that you've done it unto God. So, Cousin Luke may not be that cool, but did you know that you died for him just the same as you died for me. So how I treat him is a reflection of what I'm, how I'm treating you too. So if I'm mean to Cousin Luke, it's like I'm being mean to you. If I make fun of Miranda for being a, a terrible, 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 you should have hurt. Hmm. So if I make fun of Miranda for being, uh, I'm saying that she's not a good guitar player. It's like saying, it's like making fun of you. And then when I was talking about Trevor and how he sometimes blurts things out when we're trying to do the lesson, he's being super quiet now because Jesus is here. Ha ha, but very funny. He's usually, he says things and they're usually funny, but they're just like, times. He gets on my nerves sometimes. And, but you're like, it's like I'm treating you with it. I'm annoyed by you too because you love Trevor. So when Oh I, man, I messed up big. So In front of when, everybody. So when I said that Cousin Luke stink and he wasn't smart, I was saying it to you, Jesus. Yeah. <sighs> so sorry. Oh man. I don't know what to do to fix this. Pray, Craig. Pray to Jesus, he's right here. Pray. Pray. Well, Jesus. I'm so sorry. Marcy wants to tell you something. <laughs> and, and Sydney needs to tell you something. And you need to tell Christopher Michelle. Christopher Michelle, yeah. Yeah, Christopher Michelle, where you at? Texting at church. I need to tell you something. And I need to tell you something. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I am sorry I have sinned because you're right. You're right, George. You're right, the, the Good Samaritan. They treated that guy. He was hurt. He was beat up. He was bloody. And they were just too good to mess with him. And that story, that messes with me. Because I see people out on the street sometimes, and they may not look the best or whatever, but that bothers me. But I don't know them, but I'm just trying to have a heart of love. See, I know Cousin Luke, and he's he thinks we're friends, and I'm doing all this stuff behind his back. It's like doing it to you. I'm sorry. But, but Craig, you got to not only be sorry, but you got to change. And try not to do it no more. George, you're full of wisdom tonight. Brother Miller's really been praying for me. <laughs> well, look, I started it. I, I've said I'm sorry. I've sinned. I've done wrong by making fun of all these people tonight and treating them that way. 
Marcy, do you have anything you need to say? I am sorry too. Please forgive me. He does forgive. Did you forgive me? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He does forgive me. I'm sorry, Trevor. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> forgive and forget. Christopher, he's looking at you. <laughs> You can try to hide, but he's looking at you right now. What? <laughs> Maybe you need to go back there. Oh, she's already got one. Oh, no. Run. Run. Let's go hide, yo. Here it goes. Go hide, Jesus went back there, but you know what? Jesus doesn't force anybody to do anything. He does not do it. Jesus is a gentleman. He, he loves us so much. He wants the best for us. He called me out, and that's what Jesus will do. See, that, that's what the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit, the Bible says there's three in one. There's the Father, God the Father, God the Son, and then God the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a comforter. But the Holy Spirit also lets you know when you're doing wrong. And thank God Jesus came by to let me know that I was doing wrong. And you know what? We make mistakes. We mess up. But Jesus, you said you forgive me, right? The Bible says he's always just and faithful to forgive us when we do wrong. Because we do wrong all the time. So you guys know that whenever you're in school, or whether you're just on the playground playing or at the park or whatever, how you treat other people, because you guys are all Christians, right? We're all Christians in here, right? Boys, are we all Christians? Yes. So how we treat other people is a reflection on Jesus. You guys get that? How we treat other people is how we're treating Jesus. Because Jesus loved those people. Jesus died for those people. Although we think maybe they're not that cool. Jesus thought they were cool. Jesus hung out with the people, the least of them, the least among us. Jesus hung out with those people, the people that were messed up. He hung out with all those people. Everybody, bow your heads.